Hey, what's going on guys? Sam and Nina here, and today we are going to be testing out the, the uh, substation multi-block. I mean, I think it's just one block. And the large electricity pylon in the HBM Nuclear Tech Mod. Anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, first things first, load up our reactor here, and hopefully it doesn't explode. <laughs> we don't need another Chernobyl event here. And this is Reactor 3, so there's no possibility of exploding. <laughs> I hope. Okay, look at that. Temperature's already getting up there in the uh, the hot zone. Any minute now, it's going to start making steam. Okay, it's gradually going down. Curious. And I'll put the 20 then. Just don't pull out the whole entire uh, way. Or <laughs> Why is this side hotter than this side? Look at the temperature of this side, that's... Oh, oh, okay, looks like we got a reactor nice and warmed up now. It seems like we got steam generation. I hope, anyway. We're going to check our other turbines. We're just going <laughs> to punch a hole in the wall here. Looks like turbines 1 and 2 are working, so that's good. I Hopefully the cooling pond... Uh, nothing's broken near the cooling pond or anything, or... <laughs> kaboosh. I do have to make a door here soon, eventually. Anyway, we're going to be uh, seeing um, how these electrically, um, the substation and the uh, large electricity pylon work. So obviously it comes out here to this lovely area here, which is the uh, electricity yard. And then goes to these large pylons here. Well, that's, that's a weird, that's weird. Now, if you want to transfer it back down to our regular power that we can actually use, then you need to put it back into the substation. I'm just going to use one for each side. Now, how you do that is you grab your cable drum here, connect it to the pylon here. Boom, just like that. Goes back into there, and we're going to do the same with this one. And it works the same vice versa, so like if you're connecting this to uh, this, it's pretty much the same way. I can't do it again because we already did it. And then you can uh, get your little cables here. Just connect it together here. You don't have to do it exactly this way. So the way I'm doing it. And then you grab your little energy storage cell. Or energy storage block. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. We use our scarabidium one right here. And um should start inputting power. If everything's hooked up correctly. I don't know if it is. <laughs> Alright, troubleshooting time, because I have no idea what I'm doing. See if we even have power coming out of this thing. I do be curious. Oh, you know what I think I forgot to do? I forgot to break the uh, other, other uh, energy block, I think. That or I just simply have not done something correctly. Looks like the turbines are working, so it can't possibly be that. Unless... Unless this is the wrong cable for it, which... For well, maybe... That's working. So it should be outputting... Hmm. 
We have an energy vampire somewhere around here. Well, that could be our problem. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, oh boy. That's quite the blooper there. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. Now it should work. Just got to make sure your connections are working. So that means there's high voltage running through all these wires here. And we're just flying dangerously close to them. I don't think they can actually electrocute you yet. There we go. Now we have power. It's about drive. It's about power. Just that. That's pretty much the substation, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty cool. I'm so glad we have this now because it actually makes the Chernobyl build look a lot better. It looks like it's an actual nuclear power plant instead of uh, something that's pretending to be a power plant. Anyway, well, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.